Now time for the DD2 and the DD2 Masters pre-final. Here is your starting grid. Nikita Genza and Nicola Guillaume round, uh, line up on the front row. Genza on pole. Mats Johan Overhoff and Jordi Klebor round out the top two rows. So it's Germany and Belgium, Germany and Belgium. Then it's the Netherlands and Germany on row three. Axel goes in the 455 will be joined by DD2 Masters pole sitter Bastian Krapov in the 520. Yes, it's Barnes and Nico Hanka on row four. Completing the top ten, uh, Zem Knofjus and Rick van der Start with uh, Monte Schlatterer and Christoph Adams rounding out row six. Imke Artsenkin de Brandt, row seven. Uh, Bas van Vlimeren and Luka no uh, Neuenhausen round out row eight. Bennett Demler and Dominic Ummels, row nine. Completing the top 20, it is going to be uh, Moritz Knofjus and Gil Bronda. Ronan Lassau, Christoph Lassau. Uh, Niels Berler, Wim Hulo, Mark van der Kamp, uh, Isan Kielstra, Marie Fassot, uh, Luca Weber, Derek van Kort, uh, Ton van Wiert, and Norman van Beek round out the, top, the 31 strong grid. Uh, Norman, unfortunately, uh, there was no signal to the transponder, no lap times recorded in qualifying yesterday, and also the uh, 416 of Derek van Kort uh, received a three-place grid penalty post-qualifying for an out-of-position front bumper and uh, would have started a little bit further up the order. Would have been 26th. So the drivers now pretty much coming to an eye on standstill, heading into the final corner. The red lights are on the gantry, ahead of 10 minutes plus two additional laps of racing here at the home of champions for DD2 and DD2 Masters. Genza on pole, Guillaume alongside Revs Rise. Lights are on, lights are out, we're underway. And it's the rundown to turn number one and two. Mats Johan Overhoff making sure he got through for second place to slot in behind teammate at Door Motorsport. Oh, we've got someone who's lost the front fairing and is backwards off the circuit. That is the 5-2-2. Niels Berler out of the race. A real shame. It was a bit of a coming together coming out of turn two. Some drivers using the runoff area and Niels Berler just got caught between a rock and a hard place and ended up backwards, front fairing in the air, unable to do anything about it, and has to watch from the sidelines. Nicola Guillaume has dropped a few places down in the meantime, as both Genzer and Overhoff have sprinted away into the lead. It looks like Jesse Spans has made it up to P3, but the gap that the two drivers from Door Motorsport have is substantial. It's 2.7 seconds. Back to third from Mats Johan Overhoff. Uh, so Jesse Spans has got third. Uh, Nicola Guillaume fourth. Uh, Sem Knofjes, Jordi Klebor, Nico Hanke, uh, Imke Arts, uh, Axel Goes and Bastian Krapov round out the top ten. And Bas van Vlimeren in the meantime has got past the uh, back in action Christoph Adams for second in the Masters classification. They round out the top 13 on the road. Uh, 
has some stern defending going on into turn number 10. And that was by the 4.55 of Axel Goes. Uh, Sodi Cup definitely uh, slingshotting its way past Christoph Adams. That looked to be Rick van der, uh, van der Straat in the 4.95. It could have been Moritz Knopfius in the 5.74. Uh, however, was the, the driver in question was running. Uh, looks like it was uh, Knopfius as Guillaume is trying to close on in. Looks up the inside and behind him. Another overtake happens. So that looked to be uh, possibly Sam Knopfius on Jordi Clebault for position. And now that position is going to change as they go through into turn number 10 and then it's side by side out of turn 11 so straight away the elbows have been sharpened approach them at your peril uh, Bennett Demler in the 4-3-4 has uh, also dropped to the back end of the field and might also be on the verge of retiring in his own right. Started 17th, now down to P30. A combined total of 31. Uh, DD2 and Masters out on circuit. Nikita Genza, after three laps, has not only the fastest lap in the pocket of the race, um, has a lead of just under a second over Mats Johan Overhoff. Nikola Guillaume has managed to get away from those behind. Jordi Clebault up now past Jesse Spans for fourth place. Uh, just behind it's Nico Hanka in the 4 5 0. Gap now between first and second is just under 1.2. So Hanka sixth ahead of uh, Sem Knofius, Imke Arts. Bastian Karpov and uh, also just behind the Maxwell goes in the 4.55. So just over four minutes of this race completed. So Bennett Demler on lap, on lap two is out of the race. So we're down to 29 runners and riders. Dominic Ummels who started 18th has tumbled all the way down to 29th and last. Nicola Guillaume, however, has started pulling away from Jordi Clebault. And last time around, putting the fastest lap of the race, 54.690 for the Belgian. Still very much too close to call as to... Or you know, or to predict what's going to happen over the next five minutes plus two additional laps. Uh, Izan Kielstra loses out a position to Christophe Lassort. Uh, Norman Van Beek gets through on the 441 of uh, Marie Fassot, who's now returned to karting after, uh, I think, pretty much just over a year on the sidelines. Uh, Mark van der Kamp has got through on Kier de Brandt for 17th. Uh, van der Kamp started down in 25th, now has made up eight places over the course of the last five and a half minutes. And yes, this Spons is going to lose out of position. So Genza, uh, Overhoff, Guillaume, Klebor, Hanke, Knopfjus, uh, yes, this Spons, so it was Sem Knopfjus that did get through. There is Imke Arts on, well, that's a surprise. Imke Arts, I remember, used to be on a Birrell Art chassis. Now, uh, looks to be in the, uh, looks to be on a Kart Republic with a very, uh, very familiar livery, Shepherds Racing. Uh, Martin Van Leeuwen, one of their uh, talisman drivers, uh, winner of the 2021 Rotax Max Euro Golden Trophy. And then went on that year to go to the Sakir, the to Sakir in Bahrain, to win the Grand Finals from after that event. So one of the biggest 
battles at the moment is between the likes of Clebor, Hanke, Knofjes, Spans and Arts. And that is from fourth to eight, so five drivers in total. As all that was a look up the inside by Zem Knofjes on Nico Hanke for fifth place at turn seven. Uh, Mark van der Kamp, I've just noticed, has just been shown as a retirement. Uh, Dominic Ummels, what a great start for the 577. But Nikita Genser and Mats Johan Overhoff have cleared away. They are gone and into the wilderness. Nicolas Guillaume moving from Shepherds Racing last year to this year, joining Stan Pex and the SP Motorsport crew. Change here through out of turn number six. Sam Knopf. Oh, Jesse Pons goes very, very deep in. Gets through. Hanke gets caught out. Knopfius gets up the inside. That's Arts now through. So one move by one driver means somebody else loses a significant amount of race positions. And we still have just over 90 seconds plus two laps to go, folks. You ain't seen nothing yet. Up the inside on Yes Spans goes Sem Knopfjes. So a good little exchange for fifth. Fastest lap of, lap of the races by uh, Knopfjes in uh, on what was lap seven, 54.655. Now into the final minute we go of this race, plus the additional two laps. Genza takes us on to lap number 11, leading Mats Johan Overhoff by 2.83 seconds. Nicola Guillaume rounds out the top three, a further 2.5 seconds behind. Jordi Klebol, Sam Knopfjes, uh, Jesse Spahn's Imke Arts, Bastian Karpov still leading the way in DD2 Masters but is not the only driver in the top 10 and also in the top th top two of DD2 Masters. Uh, well, it's the man at the front of that train, Christoph Adams, now running 10th. Ahead of Axel goes. Uh, Bas van Vlimmeren not too far behind them either. Timer now expires. We hit zero. Two more laps to go. Genza takes us on to lap number 12 out of 13. Adams still holding station at the moment. But will there possibly be an attack courtesy? Well, I think he's more concerned about Bas van Vlimmeren, who's got in front of him Axel Goes in the 4-5-5. So on to the penultimate lap we head. Genza, once again, like he showed here at this circuit two weeks ago for the uh, Champions Winter Trophy, as there is a move by the 5-5-2. Uh, Bas van Vlimmeren, I think, just got past either Rick van der Straat or Monte Schlatterer in that exchange. Would have been van der Straat in the 495 that's running on the Sodi Kart chassis. But we are on the final lap of this race. The Keats again are just cruising like it's a, a, sa a Sunday afternoon drive in the countryside. Only you're in the Limburg region of Belgium rather than being near to your house. But Genza has done exactly what he's needed to do. Has led every single lap from lights out 
to what will now be the chequered flag. So Door Motorsports, Nikita Genza in the 407, rounds turn 12 and picks up the win in the pre-final. And it's not just a small margin, it's a commanding one. It's a Door Motorsport 1-2 and a German 1-2 courtesy of Mats Johan Overhoff. Uh, 3.8 seconds cover the top two. Nicolas Guillaume in third ahead of Jordi Klebold. Uh, Sam Knopfius, Yes Spans, uh, Imke Arts ran at the top seven. Good work by Imke, up six places from 13th on the grid. Uh, Bastian Karpov takes the win in DD2 Masters. In eighth, ahead of Nico Hanke, Christoph Adams and Bas van Vlumeren, who ran at the top 11, ran at the top three in Masters. Axel goes, Rick van der Slaat, uh, Monte Schlatterer ran at the top 14, ahead of Moritz Knopfius, uh, Kian de Brandt, Luca Weber, uh, Luca Neuenhausen, Gil Bronde and Ronan Lassau, who ran at the top 20. Wim Hullo, Derek van Kort, uh, Christoph Lasso, Lis uh, Lisanne Kielstra, uh, Tony van, uh, Ton van Beert, Norman van Beek, Marie Fassot and Dominic Ummels ran at the finishers. Mark van der Kamp out on lap six, Bennett Demler lap two, and Niels Berler out at turn three on the opening lap.